Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to deploy a Java web application into Tomcat using GitHub Actions. So if you look at this diagram, this is our GitHub Actions and I have committed a Java project into GitHub. So using GitHub Actions, what we are going to do is we are going to check out code and then build the war file using Maven and then we are going to deploy the Java war file into Tomcat that has been configured inside AWS Cloud. So it's a very simple workflow, right? So we are going to uh, create a GitHub Action CACD pipeline that is going to check out the code, build the code uh, using Maven, and then we are going to deploy that Java war file into Tomcat. So if you look at the prerequisite, yes, we need to have Tomcat up and running. So this is my Tomcat that has been configured inside AWS Cloud. And then we also need to have our Java project configured in GitHub. So this is the Java project. So this is a Java project that we have configured in GitHub. Okay, so all we have to do is uh, create CACD workflow using GitHub Actions and then, you know, uh, check out the code build the code and then deploy that Java war file into Tomcat. That's all we have to do. So how do you actually do that? So of course, right, if you wanted to know how to uh, create a GitHub Actions workflow and all, all you have to do is, you know, go to Actions and then you can start creating a workflow. So if you look for Tomcat, there is not much help. Okay, so from GitHub Actions Marketplace, there is not much help. But, but no problem, right? I have already written a code for deploying the Java web application into Tomcat. So if you see here, right, all we have to do is we are going to use a curl command. Okay, so we are going to use a curl command and then we are going to pass some arguments. So we're going to pass like username and then password. Okay, and then this is our target and then that's our URL, right? So that's it. So we are just going to, uh, by using curl command, we are going to go ahead and then deploy our uh, Java web application, okay? So for this, we have to create three different uh, secrets. So we have to create a Tomcat user, where the username of the Tomcat is going to be, and then the password. So that is the password for Tomcat. And then of course, uh, the Tomcat username, right? The, and then the Tomcat, uh, you know, host URL, right? So that is a Tomcat host URL that, that will go you know, as a one of the secret, as a Tomcat uh, underscore host. That's all. And then we need to make sure that uh, the Tomcat has been configured with this username and password, okay? So let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, I have created Ubuntu 22.04 EC2 instance. And then if you go inside a conf folder, um, there is a file called tomcat user.xml file. So you can clearly see here, we have created a username called tomcat and then password as a password. And then this needs to have manager script role permission granted. So that's the role defined and then that's the role that we are assigning to this username. Okay, so make sure you, you do this change and then you have to restart. Tomcat service after you after you make this change. Okay, awesome. So we already took care of that, right? So let's get started, guys. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into uh, you know GitHub. Let's go to Actions. So we need to create uh, those variables, right? So I'm going to go to Settings and then Secrets click on actions. So we are going to create a secret, right? So click on new repository secret. So as you can see here, we are going to create uh, three different secrets. So one is Tomcat host. So that is actually nothing but the URL of Tomcat. Okay, and you need to remove this. You don't have to put the uh, protocol. So just that, click on add secret. And then we have to add a couple of more variables. Uh, Tomcat user, that is nothing but the username for Tomcat. And then one more variable called Tomcat password. 
and then whatever the password that you have configured uh, you know your tomcat with that's it so that's it right so three variables that's it so now if i uh, go back to the code so we took care of all of that perfect now all we have to do is you know start creating our CACD workflow okay so how do you uh, get started so guys you know if you look at my youtube channel i have several videos using github actions um, i have done sonar cube integration i have done slack integration and this is tomcat integration okay so feel free to watch my videos okay so let's start with the actions um, so i'm going to start workflow myself since uh, there is not much help from github actions marketplace so let's let's do it ourselves so and you can see here right so we need to start writing code okay so i'm going to start writing a name first i'm going to say build a war file and deploy into tomcat okay and then on and we are going to say on which event right on git push we want to trigger the pipeline and then what are the branches so the branches are going to be okay that's it right and then jobs job name so as part of build and then we want to say um, the agent so i'm actually going to use a github hosted agent okay if you wanted to configure self hosted agent you can also look at my youtube videos i have a couple of videos you can make use of it all right and then steps so obviously right we need to check out the code so for this i'm going to copy paste so that should take care of checking out okay and then of course right we also need to install a java as well since this is a java based application uh, our agent needs to have java installed um, so that it can use maven maven can use java okay so make sure all the identification everything is correct so this will take care of uh, setting up java and then of course we are going to use maven to to build and package right so let me also do that as well here okay perfect so that's it right and then our last um command which is nothing but for deploying right so this needs to be deployed into a tomcat so that's the code right there so like i said you got to use curl so this should take care of uh, installing the war file inside the tomcat server want to make sure we have everything taken care here i think that should do it okay so like i said we are using curl command username and then password and then uh, what is the war file right and then of course the path right where it is going to be deployed the target server perfect okay so and then i'm going to name this as cacd aml file and then commit changes so i'm going to say deploying java war file into tomcat server so commit changes it is in the process of 
doing the deployment let's see wow it's actually done so you can clearly see here it took about 22 seconds uh, and then it was able to build and then most importantly it was able to deploy into tomcat server okay there you go confirm that so now all i have to do is go to tomcat server and then check the output wow there you go you all see here so now let me just make a quick uh, code change so let me go to uh, github and then let's edit our index.jsp file so i'm going to say we are testing java app java web app deployment into tomcat using github action let me add a couple of more lines just to differentiate so i just added two lines okay commit changes click starting build again commit changes so as soon as you make commit it is going to kick start the build the way we have configured our pipeline is on any git push on this branch it is going to kick start the build instantly right okay awesome it's done guys so let me go into tomcat click on refresh wow there you go guys yeah so yeah so that's it guys you know that's how you can uh, you know create a CACD pipeline for deploying java web application into tomcat using github actions thank you for watching this video